All right, also today I got my Daisy Model 25 to celebrate the 125th anniversary of Daisy. Uh, the Model 25 was introduced in about 1913 or 1914. Um, I like it a lot better than the Red Rider. In fact, I think this is the gun that Ralphie should have been lusting after in the movie A Christmas Story. Um, even at the time that movie was set in the late 1940s, the Model 25 was more expensive and more powerful. Um, I had to pay about $150 for the 125th anniversary gun. Uh, it's not on the Daisy website. I actually had to call the museum and I talked to this nice old lady named Sue and she helped me out. The first models were re reserved for the friends of the Daisy Museum and the time window has elapsed and it's open sales to anybody who wants one but you've got to call up and order it now. Um, these guns are individually numbered. This one is number, right here on the stock, there's an inleted medallion and it's number 702 of a thousand. Um, I'm not sure if that means that there's only 300 left, but if you want one of these guns, I would recommend that you call up and go ahead and order one. Uh, one of the more pleasant surprises of the 125th anniversary gun is that it, the metal is actually blued. And that's the way that they used to do them up until about 1951. In 1952, they switched to electrostatic paint and a plastic stock and grip. Um, below it, I have, back in 2010, uh, Daisy started reissuing the 25. Uh, and it's good. It's a lot of fun. I got that one on closeout at Meyer for about $27. Uh, and I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, interestingly, another neat point is that I, I saw a review on Pyramid Air where some old guy named Myron uh, said he could never afford the Model 25 as a kid. He had a used Red Rider instead, and he used to borrow a Model 25 from a war, more well-to-do kid on the street. He liked the Model 25. It was more powerful. And that's kind of a funny story about the way things and people used to be many years ago. Uh, about the only detail left is that there's a piece of uh, a paper sleeve that goes around the, the presentation case and if you flip it over on the back it says that it's packaged in USA, assembled in the USA of parts made in the USA and China which is a little bit different than the regular Model 25 which is just strictly made in China. So uh, I don't know if it's worth 125 bucks to you or $150 to you you might want to jump on it and get one. So thanks for watching my video.